Welcome to my channel everybody. My name is Joel McDowell. Today we'll be doing a ribbon pour using this color palette you see in front of you. Turquoise blue, turquoise green, a medium dark blue, a medium blue, gold metallic. Uh, I've added other metallics into the colors it's just to give everything a little bit of a shimmer. So this is an experiment. I'm starting with a cheaper canvas cheaper base paint. I'm going to do a background of complete orange and uh, I want to see if these blues will be able to sit next to it on top of it and uh, without causing any brown or gray effects since they're opposite colors on the color wheel. So I'm just going to spread out my paint here get going. This paints also makes it about a two. Slight mound coming off of your stirring stick. Okay, so here I have a split cup that I made. Just a cup with a divider. I cut out a cardboard and put uh, packaging tape around it to keep it from uh, dissolving. And I'm stacking layers in there on either side started with the gold and black and then I'm doing the uh, turquoise and blues intermediate mixing them up here I'm pulling out the divider okay so now all my paint is in there two chambers layers and I got plenty of paint so I'm going to do a ribbon pour I should have been pouring off the edges instead of just shy, to be honest with you. You should just keep going and then cut back. But it ended up all working. I had more than enough paint, so. Gonna leave some negative space here on purpose. didn't really uh, apply my paint especially efficiently. You can see it's kind of a mess actually, but it all worked out. Try to save some of that orange. Tip it back, Joel. Tip it back. Here we go. Good save. You have to get a certain amount of paint off the canvas, otherwise you risk of cracking and such. When your paint's real thick, usually it happens in the center of the painting where it pools. 
then it dries so you get a layer on top that dries faster than the paint underneath the, the surface layer of paint and then when that finally dries the surface paint has to crack to let the moisture out. So I'm going to torch these bubbles and then I'll give you a little close up see what it looks like. I like the composition. It's very organic. And the uh, negative space there, see how that orange really maintains its lines. I twisted that color around backwards, for forwards, inside out, and you can still see the slight, slightest orange lines in there from the background yet. It's amazing. So that experiment was a success. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe and to ring the bell. Check out my website, jammodernart.com sometime. Hook me up on Facebook. I really appreciate it. And also, thanks once again to the fabulous Surf Zombies for the awesome background music. Check them out. They're available everywhere. iTunes, etc. Thank you.